It is undeniable that our great and blessed God has suffered many persons in this village to be grievously soared by witchcraft and diabolical logs and pentacles. I have warned of this, but I was mocked by those who would account their intelligence greater than mine. Why am I not listened to? What is the true agency of those who ignore me? I just don't see why you happen to have so many stolen credit cards. I just don't get that. I have told you three times. They are my credit cards. They're in my name. I did not report them stolen. All these stolen credit cards in one place. How could that be? I've told you four times. You know, I'm not talking to you anymore. I just don't understand. Explain it to me. Why so many stolen cards in one place? Just, just explain that. Why can't you explain that? Your silence is incriminating. I'm sorry, I can't hear your question. You heard me. No, no, I have this ear problem. See, sometimes I can't hear certain notes. Could you repeat the question in a higher voice? Okay, you can make jokes. You can do that. Or you can try to help yourself. Nope. Still too low. Uh, Lieutenant, his lawyer got a release order from the judge. All right, sir. You're free to go. I'm sorry. I saw your lips move, but nothing. You're free to go, sir. Oh, I heard him. I heard him just fine. I'll be going. Thank you. What's your problem? They had an order for release. We have to let him go. You know what I mean. You owe me a phone call. You owe me a series of phone calls. Look, Lieutenant, Thursday was a one-time thing. Really? I don't remember agreeing to that. Look, we work together. You're my superior officer, and you're my partner. As your superior officer, I'm telling you none of that is a problem. It's it's a problem. If this gets out in the department, it's a big problem. Exactly. And if you don't return my phone calls, it's going to get out in the department. You know, you've been lying to me a lot. I don't appreciate that, Nick. You said you're seeing some guy regularly. You're not seeing anybody, are you? Hey, Jailbird. There's something wrong with that cop. We'll talk about it outside. There you go, Mr. Flax, your personal effects. Your voice sounds familiar. Oh, well, I do the announcements at uh, Catherine's High Football. Let's go, Centurions! I don't go to football games. Well, shame on you. Those kids are playing their hearts out there. Thanks for your help, Jack. Always good to see you, Suze. Get a new line of work. You too. Hey, Jack. Everything doing all right? Uh, maybe. Oh, hey, Chief. Um, Officer Nick Bentley's been training with Lieutenant Keith uh, three times longer than usual, and he's been re-upped for another six months. Any particular reason for that? Well, it's been determined that this arrangement is beneficial to both officers and is the optimal benefit for their respective levels of experience. Uh-huh. Because I know Officer Bentley has asked if he could move on. Well, it would be less optimal. Right. Right. Well, I, I thought I'd ask. Absolutely. Why does this evil apparatus befoul my cathedral? You agreed to let a merchant set this up. It's going to be a tower that transmits voices. You mean through some relay of shouting? Yes, through a relay of shouting. I never would have agreed to these unholy shapes in my steeple. Here's a document to which you agreed. That sounds like your language there. I am the constant object of trickery. It's another attempt to steal this church from me. Where is Davidson Keith? Davidson Keith died 300 years ago. He is my only friend in this godforsaken marsh. Call me anyone from his family. (sighs) Right. Him. So, you've come around to me at last. Hey, Martha. Is the captain around? Dad has to meet with the Westside Neighborhood Watch. He's probably unholstering his gun and taking out a couple of them by now. You want to come in? Uh, well, I could come back. Nick, are you gay? Yeah. Wow, I didn't think we'd settle that so quickly. Don't tell your dad. He's kind of old school. He's a douche. But Jack's a sweetheart. I'm telling you, he's the guy on the phone. The captain said he'd shoot me in the eye and rape my kids and cut off my hands. I've been working with phones for 17 years. I know voices. The lieutenant making obscene phone calls? That I'd believe. But Jack? Well, here's a random thought. 
Maybe some of the local batshit nutbags out here have a little pull with the cops. Nine generations in the same spot, you're bound to meet a few people. I don't know. Most of the cops are outsiders, too. Oh, there's some dirty secrets in that place. Really? Sergeant McBride? Well, not full-on gay. He said just the one time in college, so that's confidential. I got it. But Janice Whitmore is pretty open about it. Oh, yeah. And what's the deal about Lieutenant Keith? He was, like, harassing women, but now I'm hearing other stuff? Well, I don't know if it's really about the sex with him. Aw, Nick. Please tell me you haven't had sex with Lieutenant Keith. Well... Aw, Nick, come on! It's not like that. I mean, I don't want to judge, but... (laughs) Gross! He's my boss. So you're sleeping your way to the top? I'm... Look, he's... I've got to work for him. I've said no, but he gets... I've just got to get through this. You said no? It's... He'll ruin my career. I mean, he said he'd ruin it, and that is the kind of thing he does, so... No. What? No! That is not okay, Nick. Look. No, that is not... That is sexual harassment. That is rape. He's not raping me. Well, he likes to pretend he is, but... If you were compelled through force or threats to your job or academic standing, or extorted or coerced in any fashion, sex is non-consensual. Are you quoting something? I help with the school counselor's office. If Lieutenant Keith did the same thing to a girl, we'd put him in jail for 12 years. Look, I'm not in high school. Just don't talk about this, all right? No! You're not the one who's supposed to be embarrassed, Nick. Just don't tell your dad, all right? Just don't, all right? This has been Episode 3 of The Invisible World. Today's show starred Jim Earl, Kent Jones, Armando Diaz, Ross Taylor, Darby Worley, Barry Lank, Michael Lutton, and Megan Brown.